Okay. Remember when I talked about um, graphing and I was like, ugh. <laughs> That's how I feel about talking about the microscope. And why, first, why do you think we need to talk about the microscope when we're talking about cells? Because we can't see cells unless we have a microscope. Now, that goes back to that image that I showed you earlier with kind of looking at scale. Cells are so small. There are some cells, like a human egg cell produced by humans who have ovaries. That's the biggest cell that we make. And supposedly you can see it with your um, bare eyeball, but having a microscope so that you can see cells is way easier. And we couldn't, I mean, imagine before microscopes existed, I'm not made of lots of little things that are actually alive. Like I'm the alive thing, right? Like how did we figure it out? How did we start like breaking things up and like cutting off body parts and pouring things out and looking at them under the microscope. Um, it's super interesting and kind of fun to think about how they figured it out and really fun to play with a microscope because of the things that you can see are spectacular, really boring to talk about how microscopes work. So twice now in this lecture, I have said, oh man, I got to figure out a way to get you the writing that I've done on the microscope. As far as I'm concerned, you don't, I, uh, I shouldn't say this out loud. It's captured in YouTube. I don't see a reason to memorize microscope parts. Just have a handout that tells you what things are and use it. Use the microscope and you will quickly learn where your focus is and how to get something into focus. If you're headed to human anatomy or any advanced biology course, it is likely that you will be using microscopes. And because of that, there's, there's some sense of, um, yeah, I don't want like, I don't want to minimize the importance of this as a tool or the opportunity it provides to learning about cells. And it's really freaking cool. And I love histology. I love looking at tissues and identifying stuff. I think it's really fun. Um, but I have now spent three minutes talking about how I'm not going to talk about the parts of the microscope. I think that's good enough, don't you? <laughs> okay, I super love all of you and I'm hugging you right now. And if we were here, I'd give you all high fives because I'm glad that we did the cell. Next lecture is the cell membrane and how that thing works for everybody because they all have it. Okay, bye-bye.